First look at project 404 ROM based on Android 11 and CAF running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at project 404 ROM based on Android 11 and CAF running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. So as you can see on your screen right now, the Android version is 11, 404 version is RIPA, CAF revision is mentioned along with Google Play system update. The kernel they are using is Stealth version 2.0 and SE Linux of course is set as enforcing. This is how the ROM comes out of the box and let us go into default applications to check what is the launcher here so you do have 404 launcher installed and let us have a look at the recents bam here it is that is how the recents look like they are pretty smooth and pretty fast you have the option for screenshot and then you have three different options share edit and delete tap on share it is going to open the quick share menu and from here in you can now pin applications to your quick share menu in case you want to now you did notice a small glitch in the launcher and yes that might be an issue in this initial build next up let us press and hold on the empty space go into home settings so you have support for icon packs notification dots then show google app when you swipe left from the home screen suggestions icon labels you can configure the icon size so you do not have app lock or hidden applications then you can also configure the number of rows and columns as well let us swipe left access a google feed again pretty smooth and pretty fast no jitters and no lags next up here is the quick settings panel and yes i swiped down from the right hand side and it was expanded if i swipe from the left it is not going to be expanded and another thing you should notice is that the android 11 easter egg cats game is working along with android 11 bubbles important hint to note here is that whatsapp does not support bubbles right now and when you access your quick settings panel you do have the blur and zoom effect as well let us access the screen recorder as you can see the panel here is moved at the bottom and it does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time we have started the screen recorder and the screen recording is in progress let us open a few applications and see if there is any lag in the ui when the screen recording is in progress and there is no lag or no jitter when you are accessing your system applications while the screen recording is going on and another change which i noticed in this rom is that the history option is on the right hand side next up let us go into the quick settings panel one more time and here are the different options which we have you do have a toggle for dark theme flashlight auto rotate Thermal profiles toggle is also present. Tap on the edit icon and here are the other toggles which you can add. Tap on the three dot menu. The only option you have is for reset. Next up, let us have a look at the volume panel. So this is how the volume panel is going to look like. You have a button to turn on and off live caption as well. And you can also toggle between the different ringer modes using this button here on the top. The power menu bam here it is this is how the power menu looks like and yes you do have the advanced power menu as well along with device controls working without any issues next up let us go into settings network and internet select the wi-fi name select it one more time you do have the new option of disconnect tap on advanced and you also have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect on a per wi-fi basis and another thing i would like to mention is that you see this wi-fi icon it has the digit 5 similarly over here as well you have the digit 5 which signifies that right now we are connected to a 5 gigahertz wi-fi going back into network and internet you will see that the option for traffic indicators is over here 
location three different options disabled status bar and quick status bar then you can change the display mode auto hide the threshold for auto hide refresh interval what is the measurement unit you want bits per second or bytes per second and in case you want to hide the arrows you have a toggle for that as well next up we can go into apps and notifications see all applications choose any application go into permissions let us select camera you have three different options allow only while using the app ask every time or deny going back you also have a toggle to remove permissions if the app is not used for a few days and that number of days for android 11 is set as 90 days if you go into mobile data and wi-fi unfortunately you do not have per app network isolation in this rom next up you do have priority conversations works without any issues go into notifications enable your notification history and here it is my notification history working without any issues in terms of assistant hey google works with the screen turned on as you can see on your screen however hey google does not work with the screen turned off and that is a known issue on this build right now and another cool thing have a look at that clock this is a clock which is exclusive to project 404 right now next up we can go back into settings and now we can go into battery so in battery the first option we have is thermal profiles and here are the different thermal profiles available which you can choose on a per app basis go into battery saver you do have the pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver and you can also set a schedule for your battery saver in case you want to based on your routine or based on your percentage then you have a toggle to turn off battery saver when the phone is charged up to 90 percent then if you go into battery manager here you have three different options extended idle aggressive standby and manage apps automatically feel free to pause and read what these different options do next up you have status bar battery indicator so go into battery style and here are your different options icon portrait circle dotted circle filled circle text and hidden and you also have a toggle to enable or disable quick settings battery percentage next up we can go into display so here you have your quick settings panel settings so first option here is to configure your quick quick settings pull down here it is pull down from the right is going to open it in expanded mode bam there it is working without any issues then in case you want to disable the tiles title you have a toggle for that as well and you can also configure your quick settings number of icons you want in the rows and columns in both portrait and in landscape mode then you have brightness level dark theme is present along with the option to turn it on at a custom time something which was added with android 11 then you have night light adaptive brightness go into styles and wallpapers let us go into wallpaper you do have a few project 404 static wallpapers baked in and the style here is from the pixel 5 so this preview window or preview panel is how it is on the pixel 5 go into style only one theme is baked in however in case you want to add more themes tap on custom here are the different font options which are available the different icons which are available the different accent colors no rgb picker for now and then here are the different icon shapes which are available give it a custom name and then apply it as you can see it was applied without any issues and it is working absolutely fine the accent colors have also changed going back into styles and wallpapers here are the different grid options you have you have three by three four by five 5x5, 5x6, 5x7 and 6x6 and here are the different lock screen clock options and this is where you will find the cool looking IDE clock which is exclusive to project 404. Then you also have screen timeout, auto rotate screen. You can configure your display colors, no live display on this build. Then you can change the font size, display size, screen saver go into lock screen you can configure what all notifications you want to see on the lock screen in case you want to add a text on the lock screen 
now playing is broken on this build you can of course enable always on display and it works without any issues as you can see on your screen right now then in case you want to enable aod when the device is charging you have a toggle for that as well wake the screen for new notifications ambient music ticker where do you want to see the ambient music ticker you do have edge notifications you can choose between notification color or system accent color and it works without any issues going to advanced you can of course enable your aod or you can use pickup hand wave or pocket mode you have toggles for all of those then you can configure your status bar icons you have toggles for all the different options which you see on your screen then you do have double tap to wake and let us check it out there it is you can see double tap to wake works without any issues next up we have sound so in sound you can of course link and delink your ring and notification volumes tap on advanced and as i mentioned earlier now playing is broken you have toggles for all these different options and yes you do have a toggle to disable the screenshot shutter sound and then you can also configure your volume panel so right now we have the aosp style and this is how the aosp style looks like the other options are compact and tiled let us try out the tiled one and here it is this is how the tiled style is going to look like so feel free to use whichever one you like and you also have me sound enhancer baked in next up in terms of security you do have fingerprint unlock works absolutely fine and yes you also have ir face unlock which works without any issues as well moving over to system first option here is gestures so here are the different gesture options which are available first of them is quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice then you have system navigation three different options three button navigation two button or full screen gestures go into settings you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge then you can configure the amount of screen height to be used as a touchable region for the back gesture and yes you do have the option of hiding the gesture bar as you can see it is hidden for me right now however you do not have the option of hiding the back arrow then you can use the power and volume up button together to go into vibrate mute or cycle through the different modes then swipe to screenshot yes three finger screenshot is present and as you can see works without any issues then you can configure your power menu controls do you want the device controls or not and you can also enable and disable the advanced restart menu then you also have quick torch so with the screen turned off long press the power button as you can see works without any issues and next up in the gestures you have playback control so with the screen turned off you can long press the volume keys to skip between the music tracks and you also have adaptive playback wherein once you enable this whatever timeout you choose over here let us say you're playing a piece of music reduce the volume to zero music is going to pause if you increase the volume within the timeout say 30 seconds music is going to resume from wherever it was paused next up going to date and time and going to clock settings here it is you have customization for your clock and in case you want to enable the date settings over here you can do that as well next up we have rules so this is something wherein let us say you are leaving your workplace and you want your location to be turned on automatically that is something which you can configure in rules next thing we can check for is safety net so here it is my disk manager let me try to open it one more time my device is not rooted right now let us check for safety net and as you can see safety net is passing let us open the google play store as well and we can go into settings play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback picture in picture works live caption works no issues at all important thing to note is that for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not have youtube premium next up let us check for widevine so drm info application widevine is set as l1 
However, if I play a video in Prime Video or Amazon Prime application, you will see that I do not have the HD text over here, which means it is broken. And of course, everybody knows you have to blame Poco India for that because they are getting madder by the minute. Next up, we can open Google Photos application and try to edit a picture to see if portrait light feature is present or not going to adjust here it is portrait light is present and as you can see on your screen it is working without any issues another thing i would like to mention is that the rom does come with a music player called able and if you search you should be able to download music from youtube without any issues next up let us play a piece of music from this able music player itself and see if your quick settings media player controls are working or not and there it is the app seems to be crashing but that might be an app issue and not a rom issue let us play it one more time and there it is it is playing the music but somehow it keeps crashing after some time so i think that is an app issue which needs to be fixed other than that there have been no random reboots or anything like that on this rom and everything does seem to be working absolutely fine however here are the app opening animations and there was some initial lag which seems to have gone away we can also check out the recents there it is recents are working absolutely fine google feed no jitters no lags in the google feed let us try switching between a few applications so no jitters and no issues here as well but yes there was an initial lag in the app opening animation so there are a few things which do need to be ironed out for project 404 rom running on the xiaomi poco f1 and there it is peeps that was our first look at project 404 rom based on android 11 and calf sources running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.